Bitcoin traders. How are we doing? Very exciting times right now. We're looking at Bitcoin and we are right about 2% away from the all-time high. So once that comes in, actually less right now than 2%, it's so about one and a half. Current all-time high right now, 73,835.57. That's according to Coinbase anyway. So on this chart, less than one and a half percent to go. And so we know right now, especially with six hours left, very good chance that we could see a potential break of this all-time high. Most likely, I would assume, unless a lot of bullish buying comes in right now, we're probably going to end up seeing a little bit of a taper off and then a next test probably tomorrow or so at best case. I don't necessarily know if by the close on the current day, like we said, unless a lot of bullish buying volume comes in right now and down on the volume, not necessarily that much coming in so far. So wouldn't expect right now a ton just to come in because we do know plenty of sell pressure going to be coming in at that all time high. The thing about right now, though, and given the all-time high, is that if we actually flip out a little bit to get a better picture, we can see that when we did put in our all-time high that came in back during the week of the 11th of March, we actually saw not a complete sell-off and retracement like we have seen the previous times we've set all-time highs. So we actually had this nice consolidation pattern. And so because we're actually returning to that level, this time frame of the cycle this is actually going to have a much greater opportunity to see in a lot higher leg because when we look at the previous all-time high, if we talk about where we were back during the 2021 cycle, back in November 2008, where we did kick off of 69,000, from the current all-time high up to that level actually isn't that substantial. So we didn't necessarily see that big of a growth. So once we passed the all-time high, we only saw a 7% rally before actually putting in the next all-time high and going through a six to seventh month pullback here before now looking like a retest is possible once again. So short time frames are in control right now because we know longer term does favor that big potential upside, but also does mean that it will take a lot longer and not necessarily be as relevant in the shorter term. So looking at some of the shorter term charts right now, four hour in the mix right now. So we are looking at an overextended RSI currently at 83.87. So again, we could be looking at a potential of seeing some resistance get stuck up, allowing this to consolidate before hopefully seeing the next break tomorrow would be a very nice setup here. Now, switching down into the one hour, I think the thing that's notable right now is just the lack of bear volume. So even when we do look at potentials where we think we might see a retracement or some sideways consolidation, we're just not seeing any selling pressure come in at all. And so although buying does subside and have a little break, once we actually see these type of consolidation patterns, we know that no selling is coming in and that's what allows this bull volume to continue up again. And that's why we have this very nice bullish spike here. So realistically, we could be looking at something similar again. I don't necessarily think we're going to see a lot of sell pressure to have a substantial retracement and pullback, probably something pretty minimal at the most and likely more or less kind of a sideways instance like what we saw here earlier today before continuing and seeing the next leg up. So again, not necessarily that much more to the upside, but once we do actually break to that upside direction, it is a lot more probable in this instance that we'll see a much greater upside move. And even if we are looking at only 7% from the current all time high, that is still going to be right around 79,000. And I know we've talked about 78,000 as being a very nice upside target. So I do think somewhere between 78 and 79,000 would be a very nice upside move. Hopefully in that instance, we would be pulling back, testing, confirming support before continuing on once again and having a nice kickoff to a much highly anticipated bull cycle and nice bullish rally here. So again, chart just looks super strong. And even on this two day chart right now, kicking off these 12 period exponential moving average and having a very nice upside and the follow through to go along with it. A lot of nice volume here coming in as well. So not much selling pressure in that instance, maintaining those supports on the upper end of that support, continuing on very, very, very strong bullish setup here. So it's just a matter of when right now until we actually do see that all time high. So just wanted to go ahead and give this quick little update because we are, like we said, less than 2%, only about one and a half percent away from that all time high. So exciting times ahead. And definitely let me know how you like these shorter form updates here for more frequent kind of updates, especially as we do enter a lot more price discovery and all time highs for that blue sky breakout for Bitcoin. So make sure you drop a note in the comments sections below all issues, comments, questions, predictions, thoughts, disagreements, all that stuff, you know, the drill or feel free to reach out over on Twitter or X at coin underscore trades is the handle. But otherwise, that is going to go ahead and wrap it up for this quick little update on Bitcoin. Hope everyone enjoyed. If you did, please hit that thumbs up, like and subscribe if you have not done so just yet. But otherwise, stay safe, take care, coin traders, and I'll catch you back in the next video.